Hey, hey, time for the June whip update. I have a lot of paintings to go through with you today, so I'm not going to keep it very long on the ones that don't need it. Um, for example, this one. Um, this one is my oldest whip, I think, and uh, I haven't worked on it again. This one is Call of the Sea by Josephine Wall from Diamond Painting Deutschland. It has 225 colors, which is why I don't work on it a lot, because it takes ages to finish just a small section. So, haven't worked on this one. I did came close, by the way, <laughs> of doing a little section on this one a few nights ago. I was craving a bit of a different painting and I thought of maybe doing a bit of this one but I didn't end up doing it because this one was upstairs and my kids were sleeping and I didn't want to disturb them. <laughs> so I ended up just painting one of my regular whips, unfortunately, but I feel like I'm going to be doing a bit of this one sometime soon. Moving on to the next two whips. Which are these ones? These ones are the two from my comparison project, which I'm doing from a Diamond Art Club canvas, which is this one, and I have an inert design uh, pattern, which is a blank canvas, as you can see over here. There's nothing on that canvas, no symbols, no nothing. Um, and I'm doing a comparison of these two. Um, haven't worked on these one either. <laughs> Also came close, also was thinking about maybe doing a bit of a little section on that one, but didn't end up doing it because they were upstairs. Um, I am going to be going back to these ones fairly soon because I only have three small whips going at the moment and I'm beginning to feel a bit of space in my head <laughs> to allow these older whips to come back in the picture. So these are the three oldest whips and three inactive whips that I have, um, but I still do count them because I'm still working on them, obviously, and I do want to get them finished at one point. So now I'm moving on to the three finishes for this month. Yes, three finishes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> The first finish is this one, Titania and Oberon by Diamond Art Club. And this was a project I was doing together with Diamond Art by Nikki. She was also working on this painting and we were doing the same sections each week and both doing an update on Sundays on, over on our Instagrams. We were doing three sections a week and in the last few weeks we did four because we wanted to get it done. <laughs> I also did a full post review on this canvas up on my channel already um a few weeks ago so if you want to go watch that you obviously can and there i go more in depth about my experiences and my thoughts on this canvas this is a pretty old canvas i bought it over three years ago from diamond art club and they stopped carrying josephine wall's art for a long time now as well so unfortunately no longer available but I do think it turned out absolutely stunning. The process of painting was also a really positive one, except for some of the confetti parts. <laughs> that was a part that I was done with after a while, especially the left side of the painting was very confetti heavy. And yeah, combined with the older Diamond Art Club drills, which weren't as good as they are now, it was a bit of a struggle sometimes, <laughs> but still a very, very, very enjoyable project and I'm so happy with the end result. So that was my first finish of the month and my fourth finish of 2024. Now over to my smallest finish, my fifth finish of 2024. This one is called Brin. It's by Amaris and it's from Stain for Stain Diamond Painting. It's a Dutch company who sells li licensed artwork. And yeah, it was my first experience with this company and I also did a post review. It's up on my channel a few weeks ago, so if you want to go watch that, <laughs> you also can. Um, this was a bit of a mixed feelings painting for me. 
I do really like some parts of it, some of the experience, but I also really didn't like other parts. Um, for one thing, you can easily see right here is the rendering on her face. I don't like these little light spots. <laughs> I think the rendering could have been done a little bit better over there, but I do like the rendering of her eyes and her hair and all that stuff a lot. So, as I said, pluses and minuses, if you want to know more about my experience, please go watch the post review. <laughs> then my most recent, recent finish and my sixth finish of this year, uh, which brings me right on track <laughs> of reaching my goal of 12 finished diamond paintings by the end of the year. It's June and I did six, so that's amazing. Um, this one is called Embracing Eden with Pink Daisies. It's from Treasure Studios Art. And this was a gifted kit, as was the last one from Stain for Stain, by the way. Um, yeah, this was gifted because I didn't have as good of an experience with some of their older kits. And they renewed it all, the drills, the canvas, the image all all the things were renewed so they asked me if i wanted to try one of their newer paintings just to compare them to my previous experience and i must say the quality difference is outstanding it's uh, this one was really really good and um, i also did a post review on this one and um, i filmed it i didn't edit it yet it's going up on Thursday, June 27th. So you're gonna, going to have to wait a few days if you want to see that, but it will be up on my channel soon. Um, for this one as well, most pluses, <laughs> most of my thoughts were positive, but I did have a few downsides regarding the rendering of her eyes and her lashes. I did change that, so it's not really visible right now, but I do show it over there in the post review. And there's also a tiny, tiny bit of gapping, but that didn't bother me because when I finished the section, I just straightened it up a bit. And obviously when you look at it like this, you can tell, but I must say there was a tiny bit of gapping but that were the only two downsides i found with this painting because otherwise it was just an amazing experience <laughs> so those were my three finishes for the month and now i'm going to be moving on to my three active whips as i like to call them <laughs> this is my only active whip that i'm carrying over from may and this one is called witch bedroom my by Mrs. Butterdy and it's from Diamond Art Club. It's a pretty small painting as you can see so that's also the reason why I chose it because I wasn't planning on starting a new painting at all because I had enough whips going on already but I needed change and I really wanted to start a Mrs. Butterdy painting so I did and I'm still very happy that I did because this is such a dream to work on. I love all the paints and I love the quality that Diamond Art Club brings. So if I'm done with <laughs> diamond painting for a bit, um, I pull this one out and I'm all back into it. I just want to paint and paint and paint when I start on this one. Um, yeah, so that's just amazing. I'm really happy that I decided to start this one and I'm actually a little bit over halfway done with it now So I may be able to finish it next month, but we'll see I'm not sure if I want to continue to focus on the three whips that I have now or if I want to bring the comparison project back in again already no, not already. It's been out of progress <laughs> for a long time, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll see next month what I got done and if this one is still in here as a whip or if it's a finish by then. Let's just see. Then this is one of my new whips and this is my last gifted kit in line <laughs> to be worked on right now. And this one is from Carrot Art. They sent me this one for review. I obviously got to, chose, got to choose it myself. So I chose the image and I also chose the size, which I particularly chose a smaller painting. 
because I knew I was going to need it. <laughs> I've worked on a few big ones and I still have some big ones going on. So this small one is a really nice change. And this one is called Little Flower Fairy and it's by Svetlana Dolbysheva. No idea if I'm saying that right, but I'll put the name up on screen so you can read it and not have to go by my pronunciation. Um, this one is, as I said, pretty small. It's 45 by 55 centimeters and for such a small painting it has a lot of colors. It has 61 colors including 10 ABs. Yes, 10 ABs, which is absolutely insane, but I love it. I don't always love placing ABs, but I do love the end result when they're in there. If you were wondering, by the way, these two round circles are taped off because i'm going to film that part but i didn't get to it before filming this video and i figured it would be fun i'm going to let it go i'm not going to stress about it i'm just going to show it to you like this <laughs> um i started this one i think a week and a half ago and i must say i'm really enjoying it even though it's a lot and i mean a lot of confetti as i said such uh, a lot of colors in a pretty small painting. There's also some color blocking going on. For example, over there in the background there, here in the rows, but not a lot at all. So one section is taking me quite a, quite a bit of time, but it's fine. It's a small painting and I'm actually already a fourth of the way done, like 25%. So maybe this will be another finish for the month of june uh, not june july i meant <laughs> so for the next whip update this one may be finished maybe not we'll see i forgot to show you a bit of a close-up so <laughs> i'm going to be doing it now um this is the carrot art one and you can see all the ab's over here these are actually four shades of green ABs, <laughs> all in this little small area. These are the parts I'm still going to film. And over here you can see the pink. And here a blue AB. And you can see the quality of the drills is very nice. They fit together beautifully. There is no gapping, there is no popping either. So that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's a little bit that I still wanted to show you. Then moving on to the last whip and also the most recent start. This one is called Inside Watery Eyes and it's by Mar Margaret Morales and it's from Diamond Art Club. It's my new project with Diamond Art by Nikki. So we're both doing three sections of this a week. So obviously you can tell we have eight more weeks left because there's eight times three sections left and we did two weeks already. Um, this one is such a joy to work on. It's such of a different color palette than my other two whips right now and I enjoyed it very much. Um, this one has a lot of colors as well. It has 58 colors including two ABs I believe and two fairy dust. So that's also a lot for this size painting. This size of the painting is a bit bigger than my other whips. It's 56 by 70 centimeters, but still feels like small <laughs> compared to, for example, the Josephine wall that we did before. Um, so that means I have three smaller whips going on right now and it feels so nice. <laughs> it feels so nice to do some smaller paintings and to be able to finish them a little bit quicker as well. Um, but back to this painting. I'm really enjoying this one so much. The quality is excellent because it's a very very recent release from Diamond Art Club and um, it has mostly the newer type drills with the pointy, yeah the pointy point <laughs> at the top of the drill instead of the faceted ones and I must say I do love the look of the pointy drills more than I do the old ones and this this one has as I said mostly the new drills and um, this one is very very confetti heavy as was to be expected 
of a Margaret Morales painting. I will show the full picture up on screen, by the way, of what it's going to look like if you if you're not familiar with the image. Um, but yeah, I love this one. It's I think it's my favorite whip at the moment. On the same level as the witch bedroom one. These two are just I have to say I do love trying out new companies and I do mostly <laughs> love their quality as well but nothing compares to Diamond Art Club for me. I just always want to come back to a Diamond Art Club with such a breath of fresh air and even though the quality of for example the carrot art one the draw quality and the canvas quality and the image and all that stuff is all amazing too. It's just, it's not Diamond Art Club. I feel a bit bad to say that, but it's just, it's just how I feel. I, I'm a Diamond Art Club snob. <laughs> I just, I just love them. So, enough about that rant. Then over here we have the Diamond Art Club one up close. Um, here over here is a lot of orange ABs in the fish fish's head and a pink in, in their fins is that what you call it I have no idea still over there there's a lot of ABs as well here is the green fairy dust over here is the purple fairy dust and more pink ABs and as you can see the quality of these drills is just outstanding they fit together beautifully they place beautifully and they look amazing so wanted to show you a little bit of this one close up as well i really like the fish by the way the colors and it just stands out a lot against all the other blues and purples in real life i hate fish <laughs> i would never have fish but this one is very cute to me so i'm happy to be working on this painting another thing that i was going to say and was wanting to ask you is do i still do these whip updates month and review videos around the 20th or 25th of every month should i keep it that way or do you think I should change it to the beginning of the month so I can actually do like the first of the month till the end of the month as an actual, actual month? You know what I mean? Um, do you think I should just change it to the first of each next month that I will be uploading the video? Or do you think it's okay if I leave it like this? I'm not sure. I did it th this way because the first one that I wanted to film was around the 20th of that month and I just kept it that way. I never changed it. Um, but now I feel like I might want to change. But I would also love your input on that. So let me know what you think I should do. Also let me know what you think about my finishes. Also what you think about my new whips. <laughs> Which one do you love the most? And have you ever worked on one of those, maybe? Um, I want to thank you so much for watching again. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave this video a like and comment what you liked about it. And I really hope you have an amazing day. And see you next time.